What is up everyone? Dark Side Phil here and welcome to Release Day Unboxing for May 22nd, 2012. And I'm happy to say this is a big unboxing video this week. You know, these past couple of months have been pretty dry. Last week was an exception. We had a couple retail releases, but this week we're going all out. We've got four new retail releases that I think are worth mentioning. And we're going to go through them. We're going to take a look at the, the games themselves. We're going to talk about what kind of pre-order bonuses I received for getting these games at GameStop. And, uh, and we're also going to explore uh, some things about each individual game that I think are interesting when you kind of look at them. All right. So let's start off with what probably will end up being the biggest release this week. Dragon's Dogma. Okay. An action RPG hybrid from Capcom. And a lot of people seem to be equating this game to, like, a, a slightly easier version of Dark Souls. Um, a game that there... It does have a lot of difficulty, apparently. The difficulty spikes. It's an open-world game. You wander around. You're, sometimes you're not exactly sure where to go. You could easily wander into an enemy that's way overpowered. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, comparisons to that game... Except the people are saying it's a little bit on the easier side, where basically, um, you know, there's it's there, you have pawns that are helping you, like followers. Like, I think they call them pawns in this game. So you always have people assisting you. Um, you don't necessarily lose all of your experience when you die, like in, in like you do in Dark Souls. There are certain things in the game that make it easier than Dark Souls. So that's what people are saying. Um, I actually, I picked it up, and I wanted to get the strategy guide, and my local GameStop did not have it. They said they just didn't have it in stock. So I'm going to attempt to play this game without the strategy guide and see what happens. If it ends up being so difficult and I really have no clue what I'm doing, I may have to go out and get it. But uh, here we are, Dragon's Dogma. Now, a couple cool features about this game that I saw here. It actually says that this game links with your social networking, meaning your Twitter account, your Facebook account. It actually says you can share pawns over Facebook. Like, you may create pawns, and if you put in your Facebook account, I guess when you're not playing the game, people can, can use them. And you actually keep the, the experience and loot that the pawns get when they're, they're playing outside of your game. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Uh, never heard of anything like that. I'm interested in see how that's actually going to work out within the course of the game. And, uh, yeah, it could be very interesting to see exactly what's going to happen with that. So that is something I'm interested in doing. Once I do start playing the game, I'm going to check it out and see if I can figure out how to get that to work. Now, I was told that the Xbox 360 version of this game is a little bit graphically inferior to the PlayStation 3 version. People said there are some pop-in issues, there are some frame rate issues. However, by all accounts, if you install this game to your hard drive, it fixes those issues. And actually, when you really think of it logically, that's probably why the PlayStation 3 version doesn't have those issues, because the PlayStation 3 version has a required install. So, duh, obviously, the whole gist of the story is if you're going to play this game, install it to your hard drive no matter what console you're playing it on. However, because I got the Xbox 360 version, I actually got exclusive access on July 3rd to the Resident Evil 6 demo. That's right, if you got this game, um, you get exclusive uh, access to the demo on July 3rd, so I'm excited about that. So let's take a look here, you know, it's the destiny of the world, the heart of one hero, yada yada yada, it talks about customization and such. Open it up, here's your game disc. Here's your Dragon's Dogma instruction booklet, and actually this is pretty neat. It's a full-color, detailed instruction booklet explaining everything in the game, editing characters, pawns, all kinds of stuff, quests. Really neat instruction booklet. On the back of the instruction booklet is the code to get into the Resident Evil 6 demo. Obviously, I'm not going to show you that. Okay. Up next, we've got Men in Black Alien Crisis. And the reason that this game is out this week is because the Men in Black movie, Men in Black 3, comes out on May 25th, 2012, here in America. I have no idea if it's already out internationally, but uh, it comes out this Friday in America. And so, they said, hey, let's do a cheap movie cash-in game. Now, first of all, you get $10, up to $10 of movie cash. Okay? Meaning, if there's a code in the instruction booklet that if you type it in online, you'll get like a $10 credit to go to a movie theater and see the movie, which is pretty neat. Um, that being said, okay, 
I'm a little disappointed with this game, and here's why. So you, you flip it to the back. Suit up as the newest MIB recruit to eliminate the scum of the universe. It says you use a full arsenal of MIB weapons, kill unique monsters and such. And it even says on it, it's one to two players. I said, oh, it's two players? Co-op? That would be sweet. Let's do a two-player run-through. It could be similar to maybe like the Green Lantern game last year. And I was actually considering maybe I would play this game with John Rambo this Saturday for co-op. I thought that would be maybe a fun thing that we could do to run through. You know, the Green Lantern game, was it great? No, but it was actually pretty fun for co-op. So, all this considered, I then open, uh, open it up, okay, and if you read the instruction booklet, the game does not have campaign co-op. What the game has is a series of small co-op challenge missions that really have nothing to do with the story of the game. I'm sure they're probably quickly made and tacked on and nothing significant. And so it's really annoying that they say the game's two player, but really it's not. It's only a very small handful of challenge missions that you can do two player. I may or may not even try this with John on Saturday, depending on what he wants to do. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, here you go. You've got your disc. You've got your instruction booklet. The back of which I won't show you because that's actually the code to get the movie cache. Uh, to see Men in Black 3. Am I going to be seeing Men in Black 3? Probably not. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's not be a dick. Since you're watching this video, I'm going to give someone a chance to actually get the movie cash because I'm not going to go see the movie. Um, here you go. Here's the code. Okay, and to redeem it, you have to go to this website, activisionmoviecash.com slash MIB movie, ca movie ticket. Okay? So cool. Someone just won $10 of movie cash to go see Men in Black 3 if you want to see it on Friday because I don't want to see it. But anyway, pretty much bare bone instruction booklet explaining the game, modes of play, and that's where it says modes of play here. See, MPVR co-op missions when it says you can work with two-player split-screen co-op. But no mention of in the story if it's split-screen co-op. I'm, I'm assuming it's not. The game doesn't say it is in the instruction booklet. If I'm wrong, someone please correct me, but it doesn't appear that that game has two-player co-op. Okay? Up next, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier Signature Edition. And right off the bat, when you look at the cover of this, you're cringe, because take a look. Ooh, better with Connect, son of a bitch, please, Lord. <laughs> no, I won't be using the Connect when I play this game. That's pretty asinine. The better with Connect, uh, the whole better with Connect symbol that's on games, should actually, they should sue Microsoft for false advertising for putting that on their game boxes. But anyway... Ghost Recon Future Soldier, if you remember, I actually played the open beta of this game. I liked it a lot, even though I sucked at it. It has a full campaign that you can actually play as co-op. And then it also has, you know, obviously online multiplayer. Let's take a look at the back. I might consider doing this as co-op with John on Saturday. I don't know if he's interested in playing this game. Uh, I might actually ask him over the course of the week, and if he says, yeah, Phil, I'm interested, let's do that as our Saturday co-op, then I may not play the campaign during the course of this week. I may hold off, and I'll do it with him on Saturday. If that is the case, then I'll probably do multiplayer matches during the course of the week. Maybe one day this week I'll set it up and I'll say, okay, I'm doing multiplayer all day. Anyone who has the game, I'll be setting up lobbies. You can join, you know, we can join me, and we can play, and do some more fan appreciation. I've actually been having a lot of fun these past few weeks where I've been able to do co-op with the fans in different games like Diablo 3. Yesterday we did Max Payne 3. Just a couple weeks ago we did Starhawk. It's been a lot of fun. And so I want to kind of keep that going. And uh, if I can continuously keep playing with the fans in games that have multiplayer like this, then so be it. I think we have a lot of fun doing it. So over the course of this week I may be doing multiplayer. I may be doing the campaign if John's not interested and doing the co-op, i got to talk to him and figure it out, okay? But anyway, multiplayer, single-player, and co-op campaign, gunsmith mode, yada, yada, yada. Let's open this up. Now, this comes with a couple codes, okay? Let me actually grab them here. I don't want to show them to you. The two codes that come with this game, the first code says... To unlock your exclusive GameStop weapons, weapon skins, guerrilla mode map, and additional headgear for Xbox 360. And it explains, here's the code to use. It actually says, <coughs> excuse me, unlike, 
Um, oh, actually, the bonus map is a GameStop map. I'm not kidding you. There's a bonus map with a GameStop store in it. That's pretty funny. But uh, it actually has, says this code is not to be redeemed on Xbox Live. You have to redeem it from the main menu of the game, which is pretty interesting. Most games don't do that. But, uh, yeah, because I pre-ordered a GameStop, I get the MK14, the AK47, bonus headgear, bonus weapon skins, and a bonus map that has a GameStop store on it. And then, of course, the other pass that was there is my Uplay Passport, which allows you to play two more multiplayer modes, create and save multiplayer characters, co-op mode, ongoing guerrilla mode, and much more. Um, and I have the code for that, which I have to enter, as you know, all the Ubisoft games, Ubisoft games, however you say it, are doing the Uplay thing these days. So there you go, there's your game disc, here's your instruction booklet, and as you know, with both Ubisoft and EA, the instruction booklet is extremely bare bones, in fact, there's no information whatsoever besides the gamepad on here about anything about the game. It does mention Far Cry 3 coming out September 4th, it also mentions that Ghost Recon Future Soldier Arctic Strike is a DLC that's coming out this summer, that's funny, it's the summer and they're coming out with an Arctic Strike pack. Okay put that here. One thing it is important to note, well, before we move on to the final game, is that I did get some pre-order bonus codes for pre-ordering at GameStop, and the codes are for two different things. First of all, you've got exclusive access to the Far Cry 3 beta, okay? And I'm not sure if this can be used immediately. I'm almost going to say no, probably not. Uh, most of these beta codes, you have to wait to a certain date to redeem them. But I got that for pre-ordering Ghost Recon Future Soldier, okay? And I also have a code, it's the Pawn Upgrade Pack for Dragon's Dogma. And I guess what that's going to do is power up some of my pawns that I start out with in Dragon's Dogma. So, pretty cool, two cool pre-order codes. And now last but not least, although I guess it can't be least because you got Men in Black this week. <laughs> We've got Sorcery, and you might say to yourself, what the fuck is Sorcery? I didn't hear about this game. Well, guess what? This is the game... That, that's right, all through 2010, when Sony was promoting the PS Move before it had even come out, this was the game at E3 2010 that they demoed to show off the PlayStation Move. They said this was going to be the game that would sell the PS Move. Look at how revolutionary the motion controls are. You can do all kinds of neat things and all this and that, right? So... What happened was the PS Move came out, and this game wasn't released. And everyone said, what the hell happened? And then it got delayed until 2011, and then it got delayed till late 2011, and then it got delayed till 2012. Here we are, almost a full two years after the game was announced, and almost a year and a half after when the game was originally supposed to come out, the game's finally out. So, uh, if you have a PlayStation Move... This is probably going to be a decent game. I'm, I got it. Obviously, I'm going to try it at some point. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to it. I'm, what I'm going to try to do this week, just to explain my scheduling, I'm going to start with Dragon's Dogma. I'm going to play a lot of that. I'm going to see what I can do without the strategy guide, how far I can get. Okay. I'm going to talk to Rambo about Ghost Recon Future Soldier. And so you're either going to see the single-player campaign or you're going to see the online multiplayer of that game. Depending, I have to, the other question that I have is, and if, if my fans could answer this, I would really appreciate it. Does Ghost Recon Future Soldier have split screen co-op? The reason I ask is, is co-op two on it in green, which means it should have split screen co-op. But a lot of the times they say that, and then it doesn't have it, and that frustrates me because I want to be able to, to possibly play it with John on Saturday, and I don't not a hundred percent that it's going to have split screen co-op. Okay, but anyway, um. Yeah, so that's kind of the schedule for this week. A lot of Dragon's Dogma, some of Ghost Recon Future Soldier, and what it's going to be exactly I have to determine by after I talk to Rambo. I may or may not start playing Men in Black, or I may start playing Sorcery. If you really want my honest opinion, I think Sorcery is probably more interesting to me. But then again, Men in Black's a movie tie-in, and people might want to see that you know, as the movie is released later this week. So I haven't decided yet. You'll basically see a lot, a shit ton of new gameplay this week. I'm just not 100% on the order it's going to be released in at this point, okay? So anyway, Sorcery. PS Move game, yes, it requires the PS Move. If you don't have it, you cannot play this game. Um, really interested to see how, how this game turned out, especially, again, because it was supposed to be a PS Move launch title. It's been a year and a half delayed, 
and I'd like to see what they've done in that year and a half. It could be great. It could be laughable. You know what I mean? So let's take a look at the back. The magic is in your hands. PlayStation Move Motion Controller is your magic wand. Darkness is sweeping the land, and Finn, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, must stand against the Nightmare Queen and save the realm. You open it up. you got your game disc sorcery. You've got your instruction booklet, which honestly in this case is pretty lame. Black and white, very basic, just explaining the controls and the game screen, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So, that is it for release day unboxing this week. Four retail games, some of which obviously a little bit more interesting than others. Um, but the, the schedule, just to reiterate, Dragon's Dogma first. Then I'm going to see how far I can get. Well, maybe I could beat the game. Who knows? But if I can't, if it's so hard, I need a strategy guide. I may hold off a little bit. Then I'll probably do something with Ghost Recon, whether it's the online play or the campaign. If you really want to stay up to date on what I'll be doing, you should definitely follow me on Twitter at they call me DSP or on Facebook. Uh, my page is, is Facebook slash they or you know Facebook.com slash they call me DSP or my fan page, which is they call me DSP one. Um, on any of those medium, I usually tweet up or, or post up what I'm going to be doing for the day so that people know. So that will answer your questions about Ghost Recon this week and if you maybe have a chance to play with me on the multiplayer of it. Um, and then, depending on what happens with those two games, I'll probably move on to another one. I'm on the fence about Men in Black and Sorcery right now, which one I should start first. But the primary questions I have for everyone is, do you know if Ghost Recon Future Soldier really does have split-screen co-op? If it does, I might consider playing with Rambo on Saturday. I think that might be something everyone would enjoy seeing. Also, I'm going to try to do stuff with this Dragon's Dogma with sharing my pawns online. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that. I'm going to jump onto the game right now after I make this video and test it out and see if, you know, with the social networking, if there's a way to link it or whatever and how exactly to share it. So that is coming up. But that is it for release day unboxing for big releases. going to be a full jam-packed week of gaming footage. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I will. I hope that Dragon's Dogma is, uh, is a really good game. A lot of people are hyping it. A lot of people are saying it's great. A lot of people are saying it's not so great. I'm interested to get my own take on it. So, all right, here we go. Right into it. I'll see you later for gameplay footage. Thanks a lot.